Yo people, LSM here, this time I will be talking about Tatsuya Mei, a limited character that is on the Wish Gesha banner that we have here, together with Dual Blade Kirito. I will be talking about Kirito later, but first of all, I'm going to say that I don't recommend uh, Wish banners because we don't have the PD34 on Wish banners, so it's not guaranteed that you get the character that you want. Uh, but something to note is that since we have less character on the gacha, the baseline, uh, the base chance for you to get the character itself is higher than limited banner. So if you are good at getting the character before the pity, then you can pull on wish or if you want to bet your luck, but I don't recommend. So without further ado, let's talk about Tatsuya main. The game says that Tatsuya is a front and rear damage character, and this is not wrong, but I would put that front or rear damage character, it will make sense when we look at his skills. But first of all, let's take a look at his exclusive talent. Here we have Elemental Sight, so every time Tatsuya casts a skill, so skill 1, skill 2, climax or cross skill, he will get one stack of fight analysis, and the turn that he gets 3 stacks, it will convert to Tactic Evolution, where he will increase the crit damage of everyone in your team for 1 turn at, and caps at 13%. This is uh, quite a weak exclusive talent, uh, don't get me wrong, the boost is very strong and being crit damage make it even better, but it's a 1 turn buff every 3 turns, but it still is better than running the generic crit hate talent because it's a damage up, so more damage even if it's for only one turn. Now let's take a look at his stats. Tatsuya is blessed by a very high attack stat, so as a DPS he, he have a good attack for his skills to hurt, and he have a very high speed. Uh, in my opinion, he being fast is also a good thing because of how his skill kit works, and mentioning that, let's take a look at his skills. So, first of all, let me tell you what order I will do his skills, because they change forms but based on what skill you use first. So if you was skill 1, skill 2 will change forms, and if you use skill 2, skill 1 will change forms. So the order will be skill 1, skill 2, form 2, then skill 2, skill 1 from 1, from 2, ok? So let's start. First of all, 0 skill point, front damage, have the standard damage of a 0 skill point, and it will mark the front enemy. And after Tatsuya cast the skill, skill 2 will change for front tunes. Uh, the mark thing is something that his climax uses, so I will talk about the mark on his climax. Now, Skill 2, Form 2, is a 2 skill point, front damage, it have uh, a little more hull damage than other 2 skill point single targets that we have, but the secondary effect that this skill have is a bleed, so the effect itself is bad, but the damage is higher than any other 2 skill point in the game that is single target. Now, for 0 skill point, here damage, this is skill 2, and have the standard 0 skill point damage on his kit and it will mark the target here skill 1 marks front and skill 2 marks here and after you use the skill, skill 1 will change forms skill 1 from 2 is a 2 skill point here damage it have the same damage as other 2 skill points that we have in the game being Asuna, uh, Kuryukihime and Kuroko and the effect is also the same, where Tatsuya gets a damage buff for the next turn. Now, let's talk about Tatsuya Climax skill, finally. So, it's a 8 Climax point, other damage, and it's a Mega type skill. So, it have a 144 damage modifier, and the enemy from Mark will receive 1050% more damage from this skill. So, 
First of all, it's very confusing because it's a Mega type skill and it's single target. So, if you use the zero skill point front, the front enemy will receive the most amount of damage. And if you use skill two, the zero skill point, the here enemy will receive the most amount of ma uh, damage. Uh, something to, to say here is that uh, the, the skill damage is not impressive. You will see this 1000 modifier here and think, yeah, that is great and all. But if you do the math behind the skill, you see that uh, Tatsuya Climax skill is, uh, is quite low on the damage side uh, as a single target skill because it's only 504%. 500. If we pick other 8 climax points, let's pull Emmy here. If you go here on Emmy, uh, where is she? Emmy. We can see that a 8 climax point single target skill it's 600 damage. So that's why I have a low mod, a quite low modifier for his climax damage. So he doesn't do enough damage compared to what he could do if it was a poor single target skill. So as a climax skill, this is quite weak for a 8 climax point, but since Tatsuya have high attack and we don't have other high attack 8 climax point option besides Tenchi Yuki, but we don't talk about here, this is actually the hardest hitting 8 climax point single target skill in the game just because of his stats. For we to see that having high stats uh, is very important if you want to do damage because even if the your even if your competition have a good skill, if your stat is higher than then then you do more damage. But still it's a low damage 8 climax point but it's versatile. So those type of skills are ca are called made tiger skills or Mega for short. So next, let's talk about uh, his skills animations. So let's jump to the battle. We are here on battle. So starting with his front. His, uh, the animation he have is good, but we have some uh, problems when we are using Tatsuya for his own kit. Uh, you see, now I marked the front enemy, so when I use his climax skill, this guy will take more damage. But if this guy here dies, then I need to use his skill again to mark the next enemy, that will be the mid. And since his skill to change it, I cannot select to mark the here, here enemy character without using his skill to form two first. So for his skill to form 2, we have a bunch of hits. As I said, his animation are good. Uh, back it again, uh, because of this restriction, Tatsuya uh, is not that much versatile in, the, in mid battle because you need to select your target before you start doing damage on him. So. If you end up selecting the wrong character or killing it too soon, then you have no use for Tatsuya Climax and his other skills will lag behind on the damage side since they aren't that good for damage itself. Now for skill 2 from 1. Very basic but not bad in my opinion. Now for here skill 1 from 2. And this one give uh, a buff. At least you can't uh, the enemy can't remove the buff from Tatsuya unlike the other two skill point buff characters that are dispellable. Now for his climax skills, as you can see the here is marked, so he will receive the most amount of damage. And the difference is quite big, uh, 
I don't know if you could see, but front and mid took only 6000, where the here took all the rest of the damage. And those are his skills animations. Now, let's talk about his cross skills. So, that's why you have two cross, one for skill point area with Milky, and one for skill point here damage with Tomo. Uh, then they don't have anything special besides the high attack that you can get on those skills because Tatsuya and Milk support are high attack with uh, good Psyches and Tatsuya and Tomo are also have high attack where Tomo have one of the best Psyches in the game so the damage will be high on those skills but something that I want to talk about in specific for Tomo Cross is that this doesn't have a good synergy with Tomo skill. Tomo skill is a climax skill, uh, better saying, is a support skill that calls climax point. That is split damage. Uh, split damage doesn't split the damage evenly. You see, when you have two enemies, the here enemy will take the extra hit of the split damage skills. So the fact that Tatsuya and Tomo hit the here enemy the most means that you probably be wasting Tomo, uh, Tomo support skill if you are using her for that because if they could hit the front enemy then if you kill the front and do damage to the mid then when you cast the, the cross the skill from Tomo you get the here to take more damage from skill where mid you take only one hit but since he, he already got hit for the cross, he will be on low HP, but that sadly doesn't work that well, since they go to, have to against the here enemy. Without, without further ado, let's look at their animations. Starting with Milky Cross skill, we have a 4 skill point area. <laughs> Too many crit checks, at least the Psyche damage is very high. Now for the Tom Cross skill, for skill point here damage. I am not much of a fan of the skill animation, but whatever. Just like Kimono Shana and Bride Kuryukime, that's we also have an exclusive equipment set for him. The problem is that it's terrible, so the effects that when you have uh, fight analysis, you get more crit rate. So, fight analysis is the one that you need the three stacks for tactic evolution, which means that at the end of the turn, you get fight analysis. So, after casting the skill for the next turn, he you get increased crit rate for one turn, which pairs with his exclusive talent where he he can have up to 22% uh, crit rate for his exclusive talent to work more. The problem is that uh, the equipment set that give damage bonus like Poser, uh, Guild Set and Alternative Fashion give more damage, which means that they are better than a consistent crit, because even if it's more consistent, you have the chance to meet the crit which means that you are doing less damage and since, since this doesn't give more damage to you your crit, your crit power is also weaker than if you are using the, the sets that give more damage so it's all about the damage and since his exclusive talent doesn't give more damage it's considered bad but it's, it's better than most generic equipments that you can find but no damage up, so no choice. Now let's talk about his awaken effects. And here we start something that the devs started doing is that uh, year two characters, uh, more specific characters that came after the year one, normally have at least one good awaken at awaken three. So first of all, awaken one, material burst, his climax skill. Uh, 
will increase the crit rate for everyone when they attack a market enemy. It's quite weak, crit rate uh, is more consistent, but you want more power. For Awakened Tree, we have a very strong effect where his exclusive talent crit damage up lasts for one more turn. This is very strong and if you want to use Tatsuya, his is his bundle, you want this effect to make him even better because now he has two turns instead of one so instead of the buff every three turns he has uh, the buff for two turns so two turns off two turns one which is way better for him and everyone in the team and for the awakened five effect we have a frail when he uses skill one or skill two when he marks the enemy is a two turn frail but the value is low i think that you can skip this uh, you will not change much on your damage. Next we have his Pisage. Uh, if you are not mistaken, Tatsuya was the first character to receive a, a damage stat that was above uh, 10% where he gets 12% attack, have a 2% crit damage. This is, was one of the best, uh, is one of the best Pisages to this day even if it doesn't have final damage because the attack boost is very high we of course got things that were better but it's a very strong buff for his stats and one of the reasons that he can hit uh, hard because more attack is more damage now let's talk about his elementium so for Tatsuya Moduli we have here Mahesvara. I don't know how to pronounce this. What is those that when you mark the front or here enemy, Tatsuya will give a extra mark to the enemy that you didn't choose. So if you choose front for your mark, then the elementum will mark here for you too, and vice versa. So at max level that doesn't use any soul, the extra mark. Uh, have a uh, 196% damage up for the enemy which if, if we do the math here that I did that one is this one here so we have uh, extra 94% damage on Tatsuya Climax skill which means that if we sum with the normal mar mark here Tatsuya will have almost the normal damage of a 8 climax point, but only if you are against two targets. And I have here a screenshot of the maxed elementum. As you can see here, the level 600 have a 375. If we do the math, we get a 180 value, and if you sum up with the normal mark Tatsuya Climax skill now have a good modifier but only against two enemies against one enemy he only have the standard 504% which is quite bad but since he have high attack he gets good numbers now for the other effects of Tatsuya Elemental first one we have normal life of two uh, the cross skill of Miyuki and Tatsuya does more damage uh, it needs 3 souls to unlock and the damage boost is visible, is very low I don't recommend public more committee Tatsuya deals more damage to the enemy with the mark so he have a frail for himself the value is low but it's an honest buff but nothing special I think that for the price that you need, uh, being one soul, it's okay, but I don't think you should unlock this, not worth the cost. And the free buff that you can get, Genius Magic Engineer, when Tatsuya gets the Tachiki Evolution, uh, which is his crit damage boost, he will buff the crit rate for everyone in the team for one turn. So 
there's a bug on this element one effect that you will not get the icon saying that you got the buff but it's working properly you, it's sometimes you don't get the icon but you don't need to mind that so my opinion about Tatsuya he is a good character to have she, he is better than most non-limited because he have high attack have good cross options and his climax have a niche of being front or here so he have some versatility on his kit my problem with him is those things that I said earlier is that if you don't have a use for his niche or his climax niche where he can use his, it quite early for a versatile nook on front or here enemy then you wouldn't want to pull him most of the time because he already fall, uh, had fallen out of favor on the meta side because we got more options for climax spamming he was the meta single target spam but but then something happened that brought Satsuya back for for more memes you see after his elementium uh, he became a meme that would cross uh, cross span with milky because it did a good amount of damage but then uh, 10 days ago uh, Yukina got her elemental and take his job of being a cross spammer with Miyuki because Yukina got a bunch of cross damage and cross damage hate on her elemental and she became the cross meta which made Tatsuya uh, let's say jobless again but devs didn't let it slide because we can't have a limited character being weaker than non-limited so they gave milk support element and we'll be talking about that right now so people here we are again and i am not doing the introduction so this time together with tatsuya on the same video i will be talking about milk support because not only she got an element of her own so i would need to give give her a video if i wanted to talk about her but since she's a support there isn't that much talk so let's pair her with Tatsuya on the same video. First of all, since supports doesn't ha don't have an exclusive talent, I will only show her card and we'll be talking about her stats. Oh, look how so cool. She's on the elementary tab. Yay. So, Miyuki is a support, mid damage character, and let's take a look at her stats. We have here Miyuki, support. She have... Uh, quite high attack, uh, it's not the cap 2000 like those others here, but it's not far off. Uh, she is slow, which was very good a long time ago when the meta was slow characters with good skills, but something that puts her above many other characters is that she is farmable quite early on the story, and you could be thinking, why did you talk about other characters being farmable if being farmable is relevant? And the answer is that being farmable is more important for a support character than a main. And why is that? It's because support doesn't have the exclusive talent and only have one skill. So when you go on battle, most of the time what matters are the main skills, the main character skills. So if the main character is strong, you can simply dump a bunch of origin frags on them, but you normally doesn't do this on strong supports, because if they have a good skill, or it's a buff, or you normally don't want to use them, because you want to use those fragments on main characters. But still, because she's farmable early, which means that it's easy to raise her above other farmable characters because you can start early than others and her skill is very good so we s we have here a 3 skill point mid damage it's a little weaker than a normal 3 skill point that gets to 285 at max level but since she's a stat stick a farmable one 
and it's farm up early, it means that she's fast to rise and have a good skill, which is very useful on early game and something that you want to have on your end game team. Now a fast look on her cross skills before we see her skills animations. She have a cross with Asuna, a 8 climax point, attack up. It is a, a buff for everyone in the team that lasts for 2 turns. And there's a demerit that the enemy also gets a damage buff, but it's very little impact on 10 on on end game because they don't do damage to you any, anyway, so buffing their damage doesn't put you in danger. Still, it's not very uh, it's not used widely because Asuna main uh, is not doesn't have the good skills by herself. She has good cross skills, and you normally don't want to waste her cross option with Milk, even if Milk have a good skill, because Asuna wants to do damage on front and Milk goes for the mid. But not the worst thing in the world, just that the damage value is not that high and 8 climax point is too much for a team of characters that doesn't generate uh, skill point and climax point by themselves. Next we have Kimono Shana, it's a 4 skill point dispel, it has the damage of a 3 skill point and cost kills one more for the dispel effect. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I think that at max level it have more damage than Shana skill 2, I am not sure on that, but you normally don't want to use, it's just an option for Shana to have a spell. Next is Queen and Princess, 4 skill point, mid damage, single target, cross skill with Swing Sweet Mikoto. This one uh, have a lower damage than normal 4 skill point skills, because it applies the bleed that, that Swing Sweet Mikoto have. So, if I'm not mistaken, it's the only cross skill in the game that have a bleed effect and is single target. Uh, the damage loss is not that high like other bleed skills, but still is a damage loss, so yeah, it's not high tier. Next we have Tatsuya cross skill, we talked of this one about. And we have Yukina Summer cross skill, 5 skill point, have the standard skill point of a 5 skill point damage, but have effects that uh, as Summer you can have, where they get crit chance, extra crit chance, if Yukina is with her skill 1 buff. Now let's see her animations. Here we have the Asuna cross skill. Toki ages, but we got Miyuki on that dress. So, at max stars, the skill buff is less than Tomoka Climax skill, but the plus side stats 2 turns, but still, it's, in my opinion, is not worth the cost, so you don't want to use this skill. Since I already said all other of Miyuki's support skills, uh, cross skills on other characters' prof reveals, I just wanted to take a time to talk about why do I like supports with good skills and that is that they make some mains be very strong. Let's take a look at Samarako for example. Her exclusive talent is busted, it's a damage up for the entire team, the problem is that by herself the only damage skill that she has that is good is her cross skill with Tomo, but that's 5 skill points. Then you can simply pie her with milk support that have a 3 skill point single target. Sumerako have high attack, milk support have high attack, with a good exclusive talent. It's damage. So this is something that I, I value on a high attack support with good skills that Unlike main that need good skills by themselves to be good, a support can carry some mains to be way better than they should be. And since they are generic, you can pair them with one which is 
kinda cool and something that I like about Crossing Void. Next we have Miyuki Awaken. There isn't much to talk about, support awakens are very bad on general, so they have stats, stats and stats on their awakens 1, 2 and 4, where awaken 1 is an attack stat which is good but very low number. Awaken 3, they normally get an underhelming effect, the only good one is Alyssa support. Uh, Miyuki here, she gets a heal if she kills an enemy with her skill, which will happen on PvE, but the heal is inconsequential, so it's a very bad upgrade. And every support at Awaken 5 gets a crit damage boost on their stats by 10%. This is crazy, because if you go on talents, here, 10% crit damage is free. It's like a free 50 levels on the talent, the talent level, so it's like they can go up to 150 on the talent aggression, which is crazy. But still, it, unless she is your rifle or you can't spare that much, I don't recommend going for Awaken 5 because you probably do this on exchange and in my opinion getting the S copies of good characters is better than getting uh, 5 copies of the same character just for a crit damage boost. So unless Milk is a meta support or your waifu, I don't recommend that you go for the Awaken 5 effect. Okay, next we have her Psyche, she have one with Shana support and the effect itself is not that incredible. She has a 6% final damage and some crit rate. The other two things are very weak because they are defensive stats, helping her survive. So it's an okay Psyche, but could be better. Next, we have her elemental that I don't have the materials unlocked, so let me take a look at some pictures. So here we have Miyuki elemental. We have her Ambigo Souls elemental effect 1. When Miyuki, uh, the thing that Miyuki is, is, have a crit rate increase by 2.18%, which is terrible, but it's a free effect, so you can pick if you like that one, but my opinion is a very weak effect. The next one, Yotsuba Sessor. When Miyuki turn starts, inflict a frail on every enemy, that is 6%. So this skill, uh, the effect is wrong, that's not what it does, so it's not when Miyuki's turn start, it's when she uses ice skill, so her support skill that is a mid damage or any of her cross skills, she needs to use those to activate this effect, uh, in my opinion uh, the boost is weak, don't get me wrong, it's a 6% damage increase, but you need to use souls for that, and not worth in my opinion. Next we have Emotional Constraints. This one is also a free boost and is by far the best one. So all of Milk's cross skills have a cross skill damage rate increase by 16% until the battle ends. This is very strong, is one of the strongest effects in the entire game because which means is that 4 skill points uh, cross skills that doesn't have a gimmick now have the damage of a 5 skill point and 5 skill points have the damage of a boosted 6 skill point to make it easier to see let's take a 4 skill point here we have 461 this is the base damage cap of a 4 skill point and we have the 16% that Miyuki's Elementum gives. We then have a 534 damage on the skill. If we go on battle, we get a 5 skill point at a skill. What number we have? It's the same one. So Miyuki Elementum makes that 4 skill point cross skill that she's in are very strong now, way stronger, just by nature of the free buff that she got. But it doesn't end at that, 
because her module taboo love when Miyuki team casts a cross skill they get a damage buff of 25 24% at the level 6 600 so which means that besides some niche use of for her skill herself Miyuki's elemental basically made that her cross skills get a crazy damage increase because why not she is Miyuki support why not give something that for her she have good cross skills and now they hurt like crazy something to note that about her elemental is that she can change the the module for the generic uh, damage module which means that if you are using her for stat taking she can give a max of 12% free damage for the main character that is using her which makes milk support the best stat stick in the game until other supports get their elements well the problem with her is that we got a new meta with Bride Kuryuki Hime and Miyuki's Elementium can't compete with Bride's Elementium effect because for Bride's Elementium to work she needs Haruyuki in the team so if it wasn't for Bride's Elementium Miyuki would be in everything for the Crept Dream because she is now that strong by far the best support in the game in terms of stats and general use now, general use we have holo so yeah she's the best stats taking the game for now she can compete even if her Sasha is not that good because she have now 16% final damage the problem with her is that uh, some get crits and other things on their elemental uh, by by herself she uh, something to say uh, let me clear is that uh, each trait on elemental also gives some stats to the characters so let's speak here Alice because I have everything on here if you go on summary we can see that Alice also have more attack 4% attack uh, she can get uh, flat attack bonus and she can also get final damage on the traits because if you pick Miyuki only for this number here you can do the math and see that she have less numbers than some characters that have busted Psyches uh, let me pick here the Psyche, Psyche strat here so if you go here on the statics table we can have here Sash max stat. Looking here, you can see that some characters like Alice support have some virals increases. So if you add those here, they give more buffs than milk support uh, that is only final damage. But when you take in consideration that you can have all traits from Miyuki to be uh, do, do at least have one here uh, I think it's 2% I, th yeah, I think that the damage up traits yeah this one here she can have an elemental full of these traits that give 2% attack and some that give 2% final damage so when you sum everything with the generic slot of 12% more damage Miyuki became the best support statistic in the entire game when you don't need to use Bright Element. And that's it people, my final opinion on, on Miyuki's support is that she is one of the best supports in the game, especially now after her elemental, but even without her elemental, her skill by herself is very good because she can make any main character that have a good attack but bad skills to be a main D, a mid DPS because her skill is only 3 skill point can fit in any basic, basic rotation so that's it, thank you for watching, bye!